Hey guys, what's going on? So welcome back to another episode of my little series going from 0 to 100 million gold. So this is now episode 6 run. Um, you guys seem to be really liking the series, so I'm just going to hopefully keep uh, keep going at this and try and get to the 100 million as quick as I can. Uh, it might not be too soon, but you know, we'll, we'll try. <laughs> so yeah, what we're going to do quickly is we're just going to go over what we did last week and we're going to see where we left off there. So I'm fairly sure we were level 165 last week, okay, on the character. And then I'm just going to flick through the traders here and show you what we have. So mostly we have just little bits and bobs of junk. Um, we have a Mother Sorrow ring there for 22k. So we're just waiting for that to sell, obviously. We have some other stuff like a couple of baits there. It's probably worth about 20k. We have a, you know, Mother Sorrow shoulder piece for 19k, things like that. We have a couple of other little bits and bobs just hanging about. We've got another shoulder piece in the vines for 19k. Again, more just sort of Plague Doctor E stuff to sort of list it just to see if it will sell. And then in this trader here, we have actually our motifs. So you can see we have our Stags of Zen's chest we got in the last episode. So we have this listed. So hopefully those have actually sold today. Because uh, that will bring us over to the 200k mark, basically, coins-wise. And that's essentially all we really had of any worth. We had a Spriggan's Axe there. Um, you know, not too popular right now, but it's still, I think, worth about the 20k in infused. So hopefully all this stuff is sold so what we're going to do now is just jump into the character today see where we're starting off and see what's sold and we're just going to jump into it okay okay guys so just going to go through the mail here so you can see some of the stuff is sold particularly the stacks percent chest did sell on you know the next day when i list them so we're up to almost 200k already obviously other little bits and balls have been selling but nothing really worth too much now my mail is full here so what i'm gonna have to do is delete some mail travel and get the rest of the stuff which is unfortunate all right so i've cleared this out and i've traveled so we can see that we actually sold the spriggan's axe as well for 20k and we just sold some other little bits and pieces sold them on the sour ring and um, we sold some more of our bait and things like that and some of the hollow jack motifs so that means we're starting out today of 242k okay so that's really not too bad that's quite a lot of money to be honest whenever we're only sort of six episodes deep okay like we're probably don't even have a play time of one day yet so what we're going to do obviously start off the way we start off every day and um, we're trying to make money is we're just going to have a little flick through the traders now i actually find so many good deals here today because this is the very 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 start of the event so the year one event so this is the kind of thing where you can get the maelstrom staff motifs things like that and you can also get all the legion zero motifs now i actually did find quite a lot of those so i find a lot of legion zero for like 250 coins and I think I find some Maelstrom items, but unfortunately I try to use the Neil Gatto uh, for this stream. That's why it might look a little bit red. It's a little bit weird and red, so you might notice that, but try to use the Neil Gatto and about 20 minutes into the stream, it like froze on one frame and it just the rest of the footage was lost. So that kind of sucks a little bit, but we, we sort of missed out on me getting all these nice deals, like 250 coins, and we missed out on me listing all the stuff, but I'll just show you hopefully the start of next episode sort of all the stuff selling and that way you can see you know what we got and where we're at but it's a little bit disheartening for this video but unfortunately yeah the elgato crashed on the stream and uh he just didn't see me get the stuff but overall a lot of profit basically was going to be made there so i found a lot of motifs a lot of them are like a k or less and they're basically all worth about 20 30k each so Hopefully we made a few hundred K today. It's just that uh, we're going to wait till the next episode, unfortunately, to just finalize that. All right. So after that, what I decided I was going to do with this event was go to the Maelstrom Arena to try and get a Inferno staff. And also it drops the little event coffers, which have the Legion Zero stuff and, you know, Maelstrom staffs, things like that. So first thing I did was I went and I tried to transmit my jewelry. So I went to make that bloodthirsty because that's the, you know, the best trait for doing damage. So. Went and made my Jobber Bloodthirsty and then jumped into some Maelstrom. And I tried to do some Vet Maelstrom on a level 160 character with not great gear and uh, not very many skills and it didn't really work out too well. So really I had a go at it on the first rounds but I was a bit of a struggle so I thought to myself okay we'll just do this on normal. So we've done a couple of runs of normal, I think we only did two but we didn't get the Inferno and honestly we didn't get all too many coffers so... We got, I think, two runs of Maelstrom. We got, I think, maybe six, seven coffers total from the two runs. And in those coffers, it was mostly junk. I think we got one motif and it was worth like 10k, but that's the absolute max we got. So it really wasn't too worth our time doing this. It was a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a time waste because I'm something a lot more like for money. But 
Only reason it's sort of justified is that we do need a Maelstrom staff just for doing nice damage in uh, dungeons and stuff in the future. So after Maelstrom, I went to just do some little world bosses again, just to try and get the little coffer drops. But, you know, you're not even guaranteed them from the bosses. It's obviously a little bit of an effort to go between them. It, it can be a good money maker method if you're willing to stick at it. But for me, I feel like it, was, it wasn't all that great. I tried it out just to see what we were doing, see if we can get some nice, uh, nice boxes. But realistically, we just didn't get all too much in the boxes. Um, it started to feel a little bit not as worthwhile as what I was hoping. Um, we did get a gold lead from this boss so that's nice but uh i don't think we're making that item too soon <laughs> obviously i'm still trying to get my character leveled up to a point where he has a good amount of skill points because we can't really do much crafting there's not much point in leveling our crafting to max or unlocking new damage skills if you don't have skill points so still whenever i'm doing a little bit of you know spare time just running around doing some random veteran dungeons trying to get my skill points from the quests and things so that's what we did here we got a uh, you know another quest done some more undaunted xp and we got another skill point and in between doing my little random veteran dungeons i was just farming in craglorn so i was just material farming now i don't really like doing this all too much but craglorn is one of these spots that you know drops the event coffers and the craglorn drops nern crux so I just basically went to Craglorn to try and get some Nern Crux, try and get some event coffers and just, you know, get a little bit of raw materials while I was just waiting for dungeons to pop, things like that. But overall, I don't think it was too profitable. Maybe if I had the, uh, the passives to get me, you know, more resources, things like that, or make it a little bit faster for me, it might have been all right. But personally, a lot of this stuff was uh, wood and flowers and stuff like that stuff doesn't really sell very much. So... They're really not that expensive so i felt like a little bit of a, a time waste especially the flowers the flowers take so long to get a stack of them and it's not really worth your while selling them and not a full stack but we did this for a little while but yeah i don't think it's for me i don't think i'm going to be doing this all too much again um i am kind of a little bit against farming materials um unless you're like really really power farming jewelry and blacksmithing stuff it's really not worth your time and even then it's a little bit not worth your time if you're a, a decent cp you could do something better so obviously i lost this bit of footage but we're just going to use a bit from the last episode so yeah just went to go and do my thieving again obviously so i went and stole a bunch of apples to try and get my Legardamian up whatever it's called ledger me and the garden i don't know how to pronounce this word but i tried to level that skill up again so stole a lot of apples went to see our little friendly khajiit give him his five a day and uh, that's where we are. I think we're at, like level 11 ledger main. But yeah, after we did that, basically all we did was we just went and did a little bit more Maelstrom. So again, we've done a couple of runs of Maelstrom. Um, I was just trying to get the Inferno stuff. I do want the Inferno stuff. It's just, you know, obviously it's not going to drop for me in the first run or two because I'm not that lucky. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Obviously the next episode as well, I think. So more or less it's a bit of the same so random normals trying to just farm maelstrom for the coffers and the inferno stuff so usually at the end of the episode i tell you guys where we left off what level we are things like that but obviously that footage is like corrupted so from behest of my memory where we left off in this episode was we were level 210 as far as i know so we got quite a lot of xp from maelstrom we went up literally like 40 cp or something so it was quite a lot um and we also ended the episode with a very little amount of coins because we invested almost all of it in our items so our legion zero stuff things like that so yeah we invested quite a lot of money in that and that's pretty much where we're at but yeah obviously i can't show you the traders like i usually do which is unfortunate but the next episode i'm using the old elgato again because the new one got sent back to amazon <laughs> you know uh obviously wasn't great so yeah hopefully next episode you can see everything that's sold we'll be back on track sort of showing you guys you know every single bit of progression unfortunately a little bit had to be skipped there just because of the obviously the stream crash but apart from that not too bad a day We've got quite a lot of levels we did obviously make money quite a lot of it because it's day one of the event we just can't tell how much yet but anyway guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode if you did remember to leave a like on it subscribe to my channel for more content like this and you can also pop over to twitch to watch me doing this live it's not as entertaining but you know it's, it's something to watch if you're bored so yeah i'll see you guys later okay